The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. These words were spoken by Jesus and recorded in John chapter 10, verse 10. We have an enemy who seeks to destroy us, but Jesus says that it is not the end of the story. Jesus is promising life, but more important than that, abundant life. Have you ever asked yourself if you're actually experiencing the abundant life Jesus promises? Today, we are asking that question together as God begins to lead us on a two-year discipleship journey called the 1010 Life. This is not about 1122. It's all about Jesus and his promise for all of us to experience the abundant life he promises. My prayer for you is that you would trust and believe that God gave us Jesus, who is the abundant and eternal life. Our primary goal over these next two years is 100% participation. That every one of us would ask ourselves, am I living the abundant life or am I chasing things that will never truly satisfy? As we all examine how we spend our time, talent and treasure, we'll consider if everything is surrendered to Him. We are also believing God with a secondary goal of $110 million to accomplish all He has asked of us over the next two years. As we examine what Jesus promises in John 10.10, we're focusing on three distinct parts. First, church life will continue to be a movement for all people to discover and deepen a relationship with Jesus Christ. I knew that I needed Him to do for me what I could not do for myself, for my family, the situations that I had been in. But I knew that He could make it better, and He did make it better. We're going to keep doing what we're already doing. We'll remain steadfast in glorifying God through worship and word by declaring the gospel and by making disciples that make disciples. We'll continue to gather in disciple groups, join in the mission by serving at our campuses, making room for upcoming generations to be discipled. Since our launch in 2012, we've seen God do incredible yeah. things through this movement. I went through difficult situations, abuse, and I went through so many things. Jesus, he rescued me. He loved me. So to be rescued, I know that I can rescue other people. I need to share it. My life is nothing without him. He gave me that abandoned life. Next is eternal life. The gospel has an eternal impact on all of us, and we are called to do whatever it takes to reach the lost and lead them to Jesus Christ. That's why we'll continue to make room for one more as we pray and seek guidance in launching campuses around Jacksonville and beyond. We are asking God to open doors for us to continue launching prison campuses across Northeast Florida and even into Georgia, including our first campus in a women's prison. This year, we are partnering to plant 79 more churches and send out 15 more long-term missionaries. Through 1010 Life, we will carry on towards our goal of sending 100 people and planting 1,000 churches by the end of 2029. And finally, abundant life. You know, God's call to me was, all right, if I'm gonna believe in womb, then I need to, need to worry about what happens after the baby is actually born to. And so that 
is where, where foster care starts. And I think that we went into the idea of foster care with this little tiny idea of what we thought God was going to be able to do. And I think that whether it's something super small or it's something really big, when we can surrender that and like lay that at Jesus' feet, then He is going to be glorified and He's going to do mighty things through it. What would it look like for us as a church to not simply be pro-birth, but pro-life from womb all the way to tomb? In Psalms, it tells us that every single person is fearfully and wonderfully made. We are called to love one another through every stage of life. That's why we're going to partner to stop the practice of abortion and care for those who have made that choice in the past. We'll also advocate and care for children in the foster care system. Some of us will be called to foster and some of us will be called to care for those families. We'll continue fighting to rescue children from poverty around the globe and pull children, women, and men out of human trafficking. We'll also come alongside our first responders and help them fight for our community. Lastly, we're going to honor and care for our senior adults while we continue to equip all of them to fulfill the Great Commission. You never retire from the Great Commission means you're never finished. I, in this sack of skin, while I'm still breathing, is to do everything for the glory of God. Because His kingdom work is still here while I'm still here. As we embark on this journey to experience the abundant life Jesus promises, we are challenging all of us and anyone who calls 1122 home to participate by asking, am I living the abundant life or am I chasing things that will never truly satisfy? I believe God will do immeasurably more than any of us can hope or imagine in this next season. Join me and our whole church as we seek to follow Jesus through his words from John 10.10 10 and his promise of abundant life.